Hey YouTube, it's Emma Boys 10 here and uh, just a quick announcement before I start the video. Um, you've probably noticed I deleted quite a few videos off my YouTube channel recently. That was because in the past uh, couple of days there has been a lot of shit happening on some videos, uh, mainly the serious topic videos I've been talking about, the sexism, bullying, um, attitude problem, that in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and even my respect video. I had to take them all down because for some unknown reason they got targeted a bit targeted by a lot of trolls and haters and that the other night and before the situation got any worse I decided to take those videos down. Um, so I've decided to talk about all these topics in just one video and I'll try and be short, sweet and to the point. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and if you don't like it why the hell are you watching the video? Okay, I'm going to start off with, of course, deck styles. Everybody's got different deck styles and play styles and everything, you know. Um, some play meta, some play fun, some play in the middle. Um, some will run a deck one way, some will run a deck a slightly different way. You know, everybody's different, everybody's got different ways of doing things. So, being bitchy and whiny about somebody who might have built a competitive deck in a completely different manner um, it's just childish really because you know when people build decks in different manners and all that they're just trying to find winning formulas or make or trying to find ways to make certain aspects of the deck work better so it can become a good deck for others to eventually use and try for themselves and everything and there's nothing wrong with that but just whining and bitching about um, People who might not be running certain cards in their deck to help them win and everything, I think is wrong because not everybody plays to win. I don't play to win, I play to do my absolute best. Um, some, you know, and, you know, it's that, at the end of the day, it's also down to player preference. You know, some players will prefer older cards over new cards or alternate cards to meta cards because, of one, they just prefer it, two, they find it easier, three, you know, they can't afford those cards or whatever. I mean, as I said, I prefer Forbidden Chalice over skill over um, Fiendish Chain and all that because, well, I don't really have to explain because I already explained it in my Blue Eyes Dragons deck video why I put Forbidden Chalice in there. But yeah, um, you know, just back off from, you know, telling people how to build their decks and everything because at the end of the day, it's their deck, not yours. You can play your deck, your way, your style, but let everybody else play their decks their way and their style, you know. Not everybody's the same. Um, next I want to talk about is um, the sexism and bullying in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because again, there's kind of a big problem, I feel. Well, not big problems, but problems anyway. Um, first off, you know, just because I'm a girl and... You know, it doesn't mean I'm any less inferior in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you know, girls can be really kick-ass players. Um, a lot of girls are really pretty, um, pretty faces and all that. And naturally, guys like pretty faces and everything. Um, because, you know, guys just like pretty things in all honesty. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of guys are really happy to see girls play the game because this is a very male-dominated game. I can understand that. Um, but just in general, don't underestimate us um, because we can be very good and just because we're pretty doesn't mean we don't have brains because you need brains and skill in order to play this game. And, um, you know, you know, we're not just pretty faces playing the game for the shiny cards or whatever, we're actually pretty faces playing with our, with skill and brains and everything to actually play this game and kick guys' asses, basically, to say the least, on occasion. Um, Naturally, there will be some guys or some trolls and haters and all that who naturally don't like the fact that there are girls playing this game. Um, haters are always going to hate, unfortunately. So, yeah, some guys will only subscribe to girls because they are pretty faces for them to, for want of a better word, to jack off over the screen and everything. I mean, naturally, that's going to happen. There's some guys only subscribe for a pretty face. They don't really care about the content, but there's quite a lot of guys who do subscribe two girls um, for the content because they like the fact that girls know what they're talking about in this world of Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah, there you go. Um, the other thing is I uh, just want to mention very briefly is that um, some people are some people have been saying things like um, 
that I've been dressing up really pretty for the camera, wearing makeup and everything, and it's like, well, yeah, I'm a woman, okay? I, what do women do? We like to wear makeup, we like to look good, we like to feel good, we like to wear pretty things, okay? That's what we naturally do, you know? I don't do it to get subscribers or anything, I'm not like that. I, as I said, I, I've done my channel to show you how I like to play the game, how the way I play the game, how much fun I have in the game and the experiences I've had and everything. And I do my stuff to help out people, you know. I don't care if I get subscribers or not or whatever. Um, but I don't dress up pretty for the camera just to do my YouTube and all. I dress that up, I dress up um, elegant and feminine all the time. That's just my fashion style. You know, even at work I'm impeccably dressed. And all the videos on my channel, I don't think there's any that where I'm not dressed down or anything <laughs> down or anything like that, if you see what I mean. But anyway, I digress. Uh, moving on, um, bullying in Yu-Gi-Oh! is also a bit of a problem because with people with internet identities, people think that they can get away with murder. And all I can say to them is that karma will come and bite you back in the backside, if you ask me. Um, but if there is somebody bullying you over the internet, just block them and report them. That's all you can really do. And um, if it's outside in the real world, like over you go ever, tell somebody as soon as you can. Just from past experience myself, the sooner you tell somebody that this is happening, the sooner they can help you, really. So that's all I can say about that, really. Um, in general, this leads me on to respect the respect for Yu-Gi-Oh and all that because it's featured in a lot of these topics. As I said, the respect for Yu-Gi-Oh has gone down the drain in a lot of places, but don't get me wrong, as I said, there's still a lot of really nice players, really good players out there. Um, I've met a lot of really nice people in, from Yu-Gi-Oh and they've all been really respectful and helpful in making me a better player and making my deck better and everything, and I really am grateful for that. But just showing a little bit of respect or a little bit of kindness in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh can go a long way. It can make somebody's day that much brighter, that much more happier. And it's just the way I was brought up. Um, you know, if you show respect to others, even if you don't know them, you'll get something nice in return. If you're disrespectful, obviously you'll get something bad happen to you. And um, it's not that hard to show respect or kindness to somebody, really. So... And naturally, there's always going to be those in Yu-Gi-Oh who do not give two Fs about anybody else. They don't give two Fs about what they do or anything, so they do things their way. And, you know, that naturally it will happen. It happens in everything. There's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately, if you do act like that. But the only thing you can do is ignore them and just be safe in the knowledge that if you remain respectful and kind and everything, then you're the one who has a clear conscience at the end of the day. But, you know, and the respect in Yu-Gi-Oh, that is why I decided to do the Etiquette series. You may think it's silly and retarded, whatever, but it's just a fun little series I've done to try and bring up some aspects of respect in, back into Yu-Gi-Oh. And this is my way of fighting against disrespect and all that. Um, as I said, some people might think it's silly and retarded. You know, there's always going to be people who agree or don't agree or come in the middle. Um... But the etiquette series you don't have to take seriously. I keep I keep saying this. You don't have to take it seriously. You don't have to follow it if you don't want to. It's just my way of helping the Yu-Gi-Oh community in those aspects, really. Okay. Um, don't think there's anything else to say except for this. I've had some really, really good experiences with Yu-Gi-Oh. I've had some wonderful, fond memories of this game. I've had some really good experiences. I've met so many people in this game and I'm never going to give it up and I'm not going to let a few idiots um, get to me in all honesty, you know, there's always going to be those few idiots who try to make everything else miserable for everybody else because they're miserable with themselves really. Um, the best thing you can do is, you know, as I said, if you keep respectful, you keep happy, um, you keep kind and everything, you know, you're the one with a clear conscience at the end of the day and you're the one who has a brighter day uh, as well. So, I'm not going to give up this card game. I love it too much. I really enjoy it. I'm not going to let, as I said, I'm not going to let a few idiots uh, try and stop me from putting my thoughts and opinions out there because some people need a voice in these topics and 
in some ways I'm doing that, I'm giving them a voice because they could be too scared to do it themselves. I'm not scared to put out my opinions on that out there. You know, if I think something is wrong, I will say so, because, as I said, that's the way I was brought up. Well, anyway, I think that's enough for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you really liked the video, you know, you can do a video response to this or whatever, I don't mind, um, but if you didn't like the video or haven't agreed with anything I've said, why the hell are you watching the video? You know? Anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed that. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye!